Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Spectrum of Chemistry. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the term resonance in NMR spectroscopy. Let's start. So the term resonance in NMR spectroscopy can be understood by quantum mechanically as well as by classical mechanics. So here this is the quantum mechanical picture. In this picture is drawn for proton NMR which is having a spin quantum number is equal to 1 by 2. So the total number of energy states for this proton NMR is equal to 2i plus 1 where i is 1 by 2. So in total the number of states will be equal to 2. So these states are represented by this mi. This is plus half and this is minus half. This is the low energy state corresponding to mi is equal to plus half and this is the high energy state corresponding to mi is equal to minus half. According to the Boltzmann distribution law, more number of nuclei are present in the low energy state as compared to the high energy state. When a pulse of energy delta E is applied to the system and if the energy of this pulse that is delta E is exactly equal to the energy difference between the high and the low energy state that is delta E only then the nuclei that are present in the low energy state will absorb this radiation and will side to the high energy state and flips its rotation. The picture can be shown over here. So here the low energy state nuclei on absorption of radio frequency radiation it switches to the high energy state and flips its orientation. So this is the quantum mechanical picture which we seen in other spectroscopic techniques too. If we consider the picture in terms of classical mechanics then the situation will be somewhat like this. Here this is the spinning nuclei in the low energy state and it is processing about the g-axis which is the direction of the applied external magnetic field. So this nuclei while processing about this g-axis is exposed to the radio frequency radiation of energy delta E. This is the secondary oscillating magnetic field. Here this B note is the static magnetic field which is working along the g-axis. However, this radio frequency radiation is the secondary oscillating magnetic field. It is represented by B1. The magnitude of this B1 is several thousand times lower than this applied external magnetic field. It is applied in the perpendicular direction to this G axis. Suppose it is applied in the X direction. It can be shown over here. Here this is the B node or static external magnetic field applied in the G direction and this oscillating secondary magnetic field B1 is applied in the x direction by the RF generator coils. When this oscillating magnetic field is applied in the perpendicular direction through the coil and then a torque starts working over it which takes this nuclei away from this G direction. The moment when oscillating frequency of the secondary magnetic field is exactly equal to the precisional frequency of the nuclei. The situation is called situation of resonance by this equation where h nu of this oscillating magnetic field is equal to h omega upon 2 pi where omega is the precisional frequency only then the nuclei will absorb the radiation and which is to the high energy state and the situation is known as resonance. In this way magnetic induction is developed which is received by the receiver coil which is placed in the y direction. I hope you find this lecture informative. Thank you all.